A human rights group in India has filed a petition that asks for a ban on capital punishment in Supreme Court as the group feels the punishment is against the fundamental right of life. So they feel that there is something called as a fundamental right of life and if you kill, capital punishment is killing somebody uh, legally through euthanasia, uh, sorry not euthanasia, through uh, hanging till death or uh, now it's a syringe. Uh, they give you some kind of a poison syringe and you die, a poison injection and you die without having too much of a trouble. Earlier it used to be electrical chair in US. In India it was always hang till death. But anyway, so they are saying that if you kill somebody, it is going against their right to live. If the above statement is true, then which of the following most strengthens the statement? A neighboring country, Nepal has abolished capital punishment. Remember guys, any of these strengthening arguments, you cannot say that he did it, so I will do it. Even if 10 people do it, I will do it is not a good enough argument. Or 50 people do it, I will do it is not a good enough argument. So argument should be logical and it is not based on a quantum of people who are doing it. So A is not correct. A recent study revealed that capital punishment does not act as a deterrent for the criminals. We are not talking about stopping crime at all. We are talking about should a person be killed or not from the perspective of right to live. So B is irrelevant. C. Right to life is one of the fundamental rights of the citizens in the Indian constitution. In fact, if it is a fundamental right by killing a person, you are taking away that right. So this is more in line. So we will keep a question mark on this. Let's read the other two also. 55% of democratic countries have banned capital punishment. I already told you, a, um, you know, st uh, strengthening argument should not be based on number of people who are doing it. It could be that all of them are wrong. So you can't base, it on a, base that on an argument. For example, uh, the entire world used to believe that earth was flat at one point in time. Then the entire world used to believe that uh, earth is the center of the universe. But just because everybody was believing, we did not continue to do that. One gentleman always used to come and say that we are all wrong. So that is the logic you need to understand. Just because everybody is thinking about it, you should not say it is the correct way. So D is incorrect. There are various fundamental rights for citizens in Indian constitution. If there are various fundamental rights, what has that got to do with capital punishment? It is again not in line. So this is gone. So straight away answer option is C.